da, 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 da. really hot in this. It must be because I just ate. It's kind of a warm day, though. All right. Well, I should be streaming. I hope I'm streaming. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, it shows me as live. The audio looks like it'll be okay. All right, give me 10 seconds here and I'll start up the game. Alright, it looks like it's going in and out here. Hmm. Looks like I'm having trouble with the feed coming in. Check out a quick speed test. This will probably fuck with the speed of the stream. Dee 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 dee. -de -de. Close that up. Sorry. Hey guys, give me a quick second to get everything set up here. It looks like I'm having some internet issues, probably because. <clears throat> Everybody's home since it's Memorial Day. Yeah, my internet is taking a severe beating right now. Let's get rid of that. How's the how's everything look, you guys? Can you uh, let me know in the chat if you don't mind? Pretty please, pretty please. Sugar on top, ice cream in the middle. A small picture of a polar bear. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's post that. <clears throat> Almost ready to start the game. Almost ready. De -de 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 -de. It looks like the... <clears throat> Shit, there we go, I'm back. It looks like the internet speed is stabilizing a little bit, so hopefully it won't be terrible. Armored core. Armored core. Bam. Getting it all ready. Sorry. All 
All right, well, we're just hoping the stream holds up. All right, I've got that taken care of. I'm going to pull that down. All right, everything should be good. All right, let's bring it up. There we go. Why is this showing my button? I guess I can't do anything about that. Unfortunately. But it looks like we should be good to go. So here goes nothing, I guess. <laughs> oh god, that's loud. In my ears. There we go. Turn us down here. Take a big load here. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> oh, I forgot we were Smug Wendy. Holy shit. Sorry, this stream might be a little more low-key than previous ones. My uh, wife ran me fucking ragged over the course of the past uh, couple of days here. All right, I want to turn the sound effects down just a little bit. See that that's set? Yep. Because, oh my god, that, uh, that machine gun <clears throat> sound was absolutely ridiculous. Let me start with a mission. Let's see, end employee rebellion. Did we do this already? Thought we did. The factory we had you clear out the other day has been reoccupied. Apparently, the rebellion spread further than we thought. Uh-oh. Those holding it are threatening to release a deadly nerve toxin if the factory's closure isn't halted. Aren't they the only ones in the factory? Their resolve leads us to believe that one of the other corporations is manipulating the situation. Hmm. A peaceful resolution is probably out of the question. Oh, God. Your objective is twofold. Disable the nerve gas generators and eliminate all forces occupying the factory. Your objective is murder everyone. Why not? And we can't bring any of our friends along. It's called Stink Bug. Isn't that a military grade MT? Looked like it. Bitch shot me. Now you're dead. There we go. Let's bring that back up. I'm gonna switch out radiators. I was putzing around on my other uh, my other profile. <clears throat> and uh target disabled. Two more to go. Switching out a head will allow me to get rid of that uh, shoulder armor piece, or that, that shoulder radar. Um, and when I do that, that'll... Um... Oh, man. I was hoping I got more on that. Uh, switching out... Oh, I thought I'd lock on something. Someone. Yeah, so the next step for uh, for this armored core is to switch out the head. Hopefully we can keep the dumb uh, Wendy's paint job. <clears throat> Hopefully. I got an S rank. Yeah. I made less than 5,000 Dara. Garbage. All right, 
Let's keep going. Let's go to the arena. Let's take out the Suburban King. That is a sick emblem, actually. Look at that thing. He's got a shotgun. Let's take him on in the arena here. Why not? Do it. Woo! He, uh, he has a strategy. And it's working for him. Oh, shit. Definitely taking advantage of those light centers. <clears throat> and I've run out of... Oh, that was kind of dumb of me. Oh, he's dead already. Never mind. We have no problems. There's no problems. Everything's fine. Chat is quiet today. No replay. I think we can knock out a couple of these fights really, really quick. Um, in order to get uh, enough stuff for a good head. We need head. Wendy needs head. Oh, this guy's a fucking badass. Uh, Doral. He whittles down opponents using his AC's side wide array of weapons in combination with effective hit-and-run tactics. Included among his AC's arsenal is a mine dispenser for setting traps and a machine gun to keep the pressure on. Uh, that machine gun he has is actually... Unbelievably good. I can't believe how good that fucking machine gun is. Um, I had problems with him the last time I fought him. We'll do the arena again. You guys will see what I mean when when it happened. Uh, yeah, that machine gun... Look at that. That's stupid. I've screwed myself. Oh my god. We are just grinding each other to nothing. Look at this stupid fight. I think he walked over his own mines. Holy crap. Well, that was fast. Not as troublesome as I expected it to be. Oh man, this water tastes good. I've been eating like an asshole this uh, weekend as well. Alright, another one. Flare up. His combat style is rather simple and integrates basic reliable strategies with a single weapon type. <clears throat> he prefers to equip his AC with weapon arms and is quite adept at forcing opponents to follow the pace he sets. His tactics are predictable but sound. Sounds like somebody who should exist outside of... Uh, outside of the actual D class. Then again, I guess it's based on, on your mission performance, so not based on your arena performance. That's weird, I think, that you can only go a certain... Because what if you're the best arena fighter in the world, but you suck at missions? Damn, damn. When I switch out for a better radiator, um, it kind of trivializes the energy usage because you can just basically use it standstill for about five seconds um, and then be back up at full energy, but I guess I'm not there yet. So the head we're going for is this one here, which is a tidbit expensive, uh, but oh boy, is it worth it. So let's see. 
Let's see if I can sell what I have already and make up for the price. Between that and this, we're selling both of those. Uh, the back radars are good if you're equipping a head that doesn't have a radar, but I think in every situation I've ever seen, it's better to use... Uh, it's better to use a head that has a radar equipped uh, to save weight, among other things. Right, let's go to assembly, pop that head on. Alright, so taking that down, I've basically cleared up 650 weight units. Can't wait to unlock a, another, like, medium weight chest piece. Like, this one looks cool, but I'm tired of it. Oh, they did change core types in this. So the core type down there says overboost. I think there's another one that um, uh, does something. I don't remember. You guys in the chat will probably be able to tell me. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Option slots, core type overboost. Okay. Well, now that we've switched out the head. Oh, I did have the... I could have trivialized that fight with the extensions on my goddamn shoulders. I'm an idiot. I didn't realize I had that equipped. That's what I get for going between, uh... Where are you at? That's what I get for going between two different save files. That's kind of annoying. Alright, let's try this again. This time have the extension equipped. sad. That music is, uh, terrible. It's not exactly basement clown farts from the Resident Evil, uh, thing, but it's close. All right, this guy, Hard Edge. Edgelord! A pilot with, ex actually, look at his emblem. He's a fucking edgelord. Pilot with exceptional skill, but very much in need of a few lucky breaks. The handful of fights he's won aren't enough to pay for his up pay for upgrades, but the tough losses are only making him a better pilot. He'll do fine once his luck turns. He's got a good uh, mach or he's got that mach that good ass machine gun too, and he's got two small missile launchers on the back. You can go to like parking structure or something, and we'll have a decent fight. I'll still equip my extensions just to protect from the missiles, but I doubt he'll actually be using them. Oh, and then the first thing he does is launch missiles. He's really going out of his way to stay here. This is fucking brutal. Is this what it looks like from the other side? Internet stabilized. I hope it's looking good for you guys. I hope, I hope, I hope, hope, hope. I hope hop. Yeah, I'm weird. I know. <laughs> Fragile. You must be French. <laughs> this AC unit is designed to be as light and maneuverable as possible. The pilot takes great pride in his ability to keep opponents off balance. Regrettably, his AC has serious part conflicts as a result. It suffers energy consumption problems. It looks all right. Let's see what its specs are. It's got okay offense, but enough ammo to get the job done. I think those are rocket launchers on his back. He's got two of the same ones. 
It's like a decent middle range motherfucker. Let's do structure. Structure. You know, I'm kind of interested in actually equipping either a laser rifle for missions or. Uh, uh, either a laser rifle or a regular rifle, because the way the rifles perform in this game seems to be a lot more, a lot better improved over the previous one. Look at you hiding behind the pole. You can fly too. Oh, never mind. Well, I fucked up trying to get the higher ground. Now this guy's gonna put that shit in a bit. Actually, we've had no problem with this guy. Hey, you're dead. You're dead. Trim. Okay. 12,000 credits. Some of these guys towards the, the the top of rank D are actually pretty damn good, and I've had, uh, or I had trouble with on the other one. This guy, not so much. Relies on fancy footwork and precision fire to get things done. Meshing his combat style with a lightweight AC was a no-brainer, but its lack of armor plating has cost him many battles. Batudu. He trains constantly to compensate for this. All right. Good structure. Let's go to Ruin, why not? I always have trouble with this level. Just the debris on the ground. I like having an open thing where I can just hold down the fire button and let the let the, the auto-aim basically do the work. Two more times, I'm done. Oh no, 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 Jamming my head into a corner as usual. This shit looks cool, but I don't know where they would put all the cameras for, you know, the people watching the arena to watch. That is a cool looking AC. actually pretty well built, I think. Like, he could replace those shoulder bits with something better, but he did a lot of damage to me in a short amount of time, like, like that. Like, much higher damage per second than what I'm putting out. Good for him. I'll touch his butt. Ooh, I had some dips in stream quality there. That's so good. And something about everybody being home and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm being an idiot. This guy's a fucking problem. Bison, known for his spectacular overboost charges, which are accompanied by constant volleys from both arm weapons. The pursuit missiles mounted on the back of his AC serve him well, and though some claim he is just lucky, his actions prove otherwise. Yeah, I've I I done gon' have me done's problems. We'll go back to the eh, we'll go to abandoned factory, why not? I kind of want to equip like a super lightweight AC to just hide around corners and shit. I mean, it wouldn't, not really gonna work for me, but. <clears throat> I keep coming around. 
No. Got over here. Okay. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, you guys. Oh, he caught on a wall? Not anymore. He was caught on a wall looking backwards. What's what what what's the matter with you? He's not taking any damage from that. Look at that. What is he doing? Is he is he drunk? But he's just kind of looking over there. Oh, now he's got his Now he's woken up. Ooh, that howitzer is a problem. Was kind of trouble. God damn. God damn. She was real bad. Eh, turned out all right though. How's the quality of the stream, you guys? All right, here's another good fight. This guy's got. Uh, is that the same machine gun I have? I think it is. Okay. Uh, Lizen. Born in the working class slums, he recently lost everything after his city sector was deemed unfit for habitation and closed. He typifies the average blue collar citizen trying to eke out a living under corporate oppression. Aw oh, shit. Let's fight him. Can I oppress you? No. I wanna take him on. Fuck it, Wasteland is probably fine. Well, I'm not getting reports on anything, so I hope the stream quality is okay. It'd be sad if it wasn't. Oh, nice shot, I guess. Well, your hopping is actually helping you out. And of course I've run myself completely out of ammo. And now it's turning into this type of fucking fight. I can't get out of this rhythm. Basically, he's doing the same shit I'm doing. Here we go. Here's where we pull ahead. Looks like he basically boost charged my way around him. There you go. Yeah, you weren't too bad. You did your breasts. Ha ha ha. No replay required. My hope is to charge all the way to the top of D here, which is about to happen right now, um, and then use all the money I've uh, made to uh, do a lot more customization for, uh, you know, stuff. All right, come back. A slow starter, it's not often that he finds his rhythm before the tide turns against him. Every now and then, though, something clicks and he's able to regain lost ground. He's earned a loyal following by keeping spectators on edge. So he's got a shoulder-mounted ion cannon, a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher, and what is that? That's a arm-mounted rocket launcher. They're actually doing a shit ton of damage. Uh, okay, so we might have our work cut out for us here. Let's go to the arena. If he pushes my shit in, that'd be sad but funny. Let's do it. Yeah, that, those things could be trouble. Actually, they're never too big of a problem, uh, just because it's impossible to aim those things against the moving. Oh, no, 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 bad. It's impossible to aim those things against the moving AC. Uh, they're good in, oh, is he dead already? I'm just here kind of shooting the shit with you guys and yeah. Sadness. 
No, I'm not gonna be replay. It's all good. Ooh, scratching and stuff. Wait, I can challenge him? I'm rank C? How am I rank C? We need to investigate this. System. Yeah, Smug Wendy is rank C. Has enough to do some more modding. Wow. Cool. Alright. I want to go to the shop. I've done the head. I've got the arms. I've, got, I've pretty much got the body set up I need right now. Cockpit was set up good. The paint is good. Why don't we look into dual vertical missile launcher? This is kind of badass. All the stuff looks pretty damn cool. Releases independent weapon pods. Rapid fire pulse cannon. Range is the same. The weight's slightly worse on this one. The energy drains over double. Why would you never use this? I mean, unless you're you're you are trying to be airborne when you try to use this. All right. So now we've got a good back unit. We have we can equip here. <clears throat> Doesn't put us anywhere near overweight, so we have room to kind of putz around with the missile launcher on the other side. Okay. Let's do some missions, shall we? Let's save, then do some missions. Smug Wendy! Can't believe I'm rank C already. I feel like these games go pretty fast when you, you know, are okay at them. I wouldn't call myself good. Alright, what do we got? Eliminate infiltrators. Let's check it out. We've just encountered a security breach involving the computer system at our weapons development uh -oh. facility. The hackers involved got away before they could be apprehended. They're using MTs to make their escape. And oh, we get to blow them up in a... ...the D1 block of the parking structure. We're employing multiple Ravens for this mission. Any information the hackers <clears throat> were able to get their hands on must uh -oh. be intercepted. Make sure none of them escape. This seems too easy. <clears throat> I wonder if this is going to turn into uh, something more than the mission stated as is. Let's play with our pulse cannon, shall we? The gates between different levels are locked. Oh, there's no lock on? Oh, I have to set up. That's right. I'm an idiot. Okay, you know, we can work with this. They're not even trying. This is, uh, this is not the worst. Although I have a feeling... What am I supposed to do here? Destroyed all the MTs. What's that? Is this a thing I gotta do something with? That's the power supply for the lights. Oh. <laughs> Oops. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to hit something? I thought I was just supposed to kill those guys. Oh. This is becoming annoying. Hey, chat, what am I supposed to do? What am I missing here? doing wrong I can't open that gate so I have to go down here and do something what is that something oh is this another door I have to go through oh it is okay that one. 
just kind of firing semi-blindly here. Okay, there we go. Finally got that one. Got that one. Just sitting here taking laser blasts to the piece. Okay, you're starting to go. Alright, we've taken out another one. I thought there were only three MTs I had to take care of. Yeah, I didn't read that too well. Okay, you know what we can deal with this. This is fine. Just gonna keep going down. I'm gonna switch back to the pulse cannon up. Uh oh. It's loading. Okay, you've got a shotgun and what a howitzer. Oh, you're a visible clone. That changes the bits. Destroy. Good job. Hey, we did it. You're quite a pilot right Thank you. Didn't I beat you in the arena already? I beat your butt. Mission objective achieved. Think I did. Let's take a look. Seems to be all right. All right, we wasted a lot less. It took me forever because I'm an idiot and I didn't realize I had to keep going further down, but I used a lot less ammunition than I usually would. Although, that was not too good. Having The shoulder thing is nice, but the fact that I have to set up for it, um, it's taking too many unneeded hits. The controller ordered Sector 302 sealed the other day. Please be advised that this area is now off limits. The closure was deemed necessary in order to counter the recent increase in terrorist activity. The philosophies of those responsible are in direct conflict with those of the controller and the situation has spun out of control. We're exploring a number of different options for dealing with this threat and we ask that citizens assist us in our efforts. Good for you. Everything itches today. I already read this. All right. Mission, arena, garage, system. See, what I probably should have bought instead of that shoulder unit, let me get to it here, is this. It's a, a, a hand-mounted laser rifle, so it, it uses energy, which is free, but I don't have to set up to use it. The attack power is low, uh, a lot lower compared to what uh, the other thing was, but... I mean, the trade-off is that you don't need to set up. Let's take a look at the core. I want to see... Okay, so we've got... Two purchasable OB cores, which is overboost, and two purchasable EO cores. What is EO? I feel like we're only ever really going to find out by purchasing one and equipping it. Which at this stage is not in the cards because I'm waiting for another... Uh, waiting for another uh, middleweight core. Alright, so destroy, es destroy escaping MT. So there's one MT target and an unknown number of like escorts. What you we got? We just discovered that someone infiltrated a mole into one of our research labs. So far, these have been pretty straightforward. We allowed him to move Honestly, him, easy. Hoping that he might reveal his true purpose, but he picked up the tail and made off in one of our MTs. Oh man, my stream took a serious dip in quality there. 
of security force was sent Hopefully out it's all right. Day, but the MT's mobility, in addition to outside interference, have frustrated their efforts. If he makes it to the neighboring sector, pursuit will be all but impossible. Stop him before he escapes. Okay, so blow past a bunch of dudes and take out the specific guy. Looks like the stream quality's back up. I'm sorry, guys. Raven, the target this turns out right. Don't let him escape. Oh man, look at him flying away in his cool looking, honestly, yes. MT. Engaging combat mode. Oh, well, that was easy. Apparently, he served his purpose. It worked. They took the bait. Oh, we took the bait. I don't know what that means. That last one was a decoy. The real target is up ahead. Of course it is. Alright, we can catch up with this guy. While blowing up all the other guys in his path. Got him. Now I'm out of energy, so... Mission these missions are easy. I don't know what these guys were talking about with the difficulty curve. There's got to be a wall that I hit at some point. Everybody said there's a wall I'm going to hit. Because this, so far, this is nothing. And it was a little more difficult when I had the basic AC, but this has been nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Destroy Nair Bridge? Didn't I have to defend that thing earlier? What is this? The target of this operation is Nair Bridge. Mirage's rapid completion of the project earned it the gratitude of local residents. We want the bridge destroyed in such a way that Mirage is blamed and their reputation ruined. Wow, they're not paying me much for corporate sabotage. Set the demolition charges at the specified locations. Be quick about it, as we want people to suspect negligence on Mirage's part, not an act of sabotage. This is brutal. Also, if civilian casualties can be incorporated what? into the plan, so much the better. We'll pay extra for destroying the monorails that traverse the bridge. That is unbelievable. I, they're paying me. I guess I'm going to be killing civilians. Raven, there isn't much time. Hurry up and send the charges. Did I miss one? Did I miss one? I did. We go around. those monorails so are they pay how do I do that do I just fire through the center of the thing all demolition charges planted okay, now I'm oh I guess that was it no wonder they're paying me nothing that took like a minute I got hit with a few missiles I'm not making anything with all this ammunition I'm wasting going through here. You know what? I like that shoulder piece, but for now, I'm just going to sell it and grab the... At least you can sell it for the price you paid. Scratch. There we go. There it is. Is the better. Let's see. How about a left arm? Is there a laser pistol I can equip on the left hand? There's a flamethrower. Shit. Howitzer. Wave laser blade. No, 
know, and after selling that other thing, I got the money. All right. Oop, nope, I want there. There we go. Let's look at the specs overall. Can I look at the overall like AC rating like what I had in the other one? Not AC test. I guess I can't. Alright, let's do another mission. Let's see how this energy uh, rifle works out. Safeguard water supply. Kill helicopters. Alright. Barrel dam has been seized. Uh oh. The perpetrators insist. This is the dam at the top of the reservoir where I've been doing dumb arena fights with that bad music. The music's real bad. In an attempt to force our hand, they're threatening to release a canister of deadly poison into the water supply. It's nice of them. The forces holding the dam are composed of helicopters and small MTs. Neither pose a threat in limited numbers, but there are enough of each to be cause for concern. They've executed the plan quite cleverly, but there is no way we can meet their demand. This is where you come in. So here's what I'm curious about. There's all these MTs that are being used for military things, right? And obviously, you know, if it's like old technology, you know, it's going to still get used forever if ACs are the new technology. So the thing about ACs is they either have to be so prohibitively expensive as to not be able to field in large amounts, or so difficult to control that technology hasn't caught up and allowed normal people to just get in and use them yet. So either I'm a badass, or I have more money than God. One way or the other. Hmm. Mmm, that's goddamn delicious. Footholds are limited. Maneuver carefully. Oh, I gotta crawl up the side of this damn thing? Okay, that's kinda cool. Oh, I gotta crawl down the side of this damn thing. Oh. It takes two shots from this thing to hit that. He shot his friend. Okay, I don't have a time limit, so this has to be a pure destroy everything mission. I'm gonna switch the missiles for these. So one missile takes care of them? That's uh, pretty useful. They are, like, in here. Gate five opened. Open the gate. That. Am I, like, opening the dam? Is that what I'm doing? So they're just, like, hanging out right here at the door, huh? God. You guys are the worst. You should really be paying attention to what's hitting me from where. Shit, shit, shit. 
just kind of jumped off before I was even ready. I think I'm too tall to actually hit those guys. What is this fucking mission? What's in here? What am I doing? Doing anything? No. pop out and hit him, but it is not a good plan with an energy-based rifle. Don't get me wrong, the energy rifle is a good call. Oh god. Okay, now we've opened up those gates. I think those uh, helos are like an infinite thing. In which case, I should be using these missiles. Yeah, look, here they keep coming. So that was the first one I hit. This one was where the gate locks were. So let's go in here and do that. That way was seven. Oh, I can't fire this while that's charging, can I? That was a neat mission. It's a lot different from what we done been doing. Yay, yay. I don't know where I'm going. I'm a fucking idiot. And look at the difference in ammunition usage. This is the way. I wish I hadn't gotten shot up so much and taken so long. All right, let's save the game a little bit. There we go. Smug Wendy killing it, y'all. Having a good time. I hope you guys are too. Driving the Baconator. Let's switch back. You know what? I still have those leg bits. There we go. We will set this one up. Good. That should be the next. 
Fox thing. We'll set this one up for arena, the other one up for missions. So if the other one's the Baconator, what should we name this? Hmm. That's a good question. First of all, let's fix the paint. You know what? I've got an idea. Is there like a shit brown color? No, there's kind of an orange. Fuck it. Let's name this one... Frosty. After the dumb meme drinks. I know there's no actual meme drink. Shut up. Oh, there we go. There's the grade. We get to it from here. Hey, Thunder, how's it going? Uh, yeah, it's me. What's up? Let's see. Okay, so we've got the Baconator and Smug Wendy here set up for missions. We got Frosty over here. So let's take Frosty and do some arena shit. Uh-oh. Hey, Thunder, what's up? Sorry, I've been having issues with, uh, having issues with stream quality today. I think it's because everybody's home everywhere. Uh, so hopefully the quality isn't too bad. Let me know. <laughs> All right, Thunderhouse. He takes great pleasure in using his AC's linear cannon to demolish those that challenge him. That thing does look like a bad fucking time. <laughs> When unleashed, the weapon rains down damage and peals of thunder echo across the arena. He's made rapid advances, but many still question his skill. Armor Core 3 is going great, dude. We've been having a lot of fun. How do you like the visual update to the, uh, to the channel? I got the new buttons down there. I got the chat in the stream. Yeah. cannon. Let's fight him out in the open. Like an idiot. I've been having fun. I haven't hit the, the Armored Core 3 difficulty wall in the missions yet, and I kind of haven't. I haven't hit it. Um, Jesus Christ. No thanks. Yeah, you, you fucking you keep that right the fuck over there away from me. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, he's to my left. So has he built his entire thing around that fucking back weapon? Shit, I missed it. Oh man, that overheat that he had was real. That linear cannon's pretty good. I've de I'm probably not going to use many back weapons that aren't missiles just because I don't like having to unpack and stand still. But I might switch to like treads or like a quadruped, so... Who knows? All right, time to kill Brachetta. Because I'm being an ass. Barchetta. The polish and grace of his combat style make him wildly popular with the arena's female fans. Are you fucking serious? Wow. Uh, he and Midas were close once, but grew apart after her arena career took off. Whenever her name is mentioned, he ruminates about days gone by. Do you get it? Do you get it? A real mention of sex in a Japanese game. <laughs> oh, I'm an ass. I'm a big dumb a-hole, and I suck. Look at that, he's already locked onto me. Oh, Jesus. Oh shit! No, 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 that's real bad. No, I don't wanna. No, fuck you, dude. No! How are you 
so good at touching my goodies with your guns. Oh, he's gonna fucking destroy me. Oh yeah, I'm fucking gone. Wow! Fuck that guy. The fact that he was able to hit me with the vast majority of those, I'm not fast enough. Yes, I want to retry. See if maybe going airborne will, uh... Help a little bit. This might be a guy worth, um... This might be a guy worth, uh, getting a quick movement back, uh, extension for. Oh! Got me in this... Oh, Jesus! I guess I could try and outlast his grenade launchers, but... I don't think that's a good strategy for this guy. I'm doing all right in the air. The problem is that will not last forever. Actually, this is... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! He's got me in his rhythm! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! I beat him before I melted to death. <laughs> OP intensified that requires you to do specific tasks to earn bonuses it gives you while having it equipped. One of them lets you fire back weapons while moving. No kidding. Where do you get that? Where do you get that? Is that is that the is that the core special thing or one of them's overboost and the other one's a different thing? Cuz I saw that. I saw one like most of the cores have OB overboost and then the other ones have like EC or something. Watch that not be either. I didn't want to watch the replay. I don't know. I don't know where I, where I got from there. That that guy he got me. He got me real good. I'm gonna get that to him. All right, 17,000 credits. This is where we make our money. Kiss hug, or hug kiss. I don't know which is which. Damn, those arms look cool as fuck. An itchy trigger finger, limited ammo reserves, and target acquisition issues leave most wondering how this pilot ever got as far as he had. He's made improvements to his AC's ammunition stores. But the underlying problems remain. That's funny. Oh, you can't buy the optional part until you beat the game. That's interesting. So basically, you can't do it on your first playthrough, but you unlock basically a cool way to play through the second wave. That's cool. That that's that's a really good way to add replay value to this game. Outside of the, you know, whole tinking tink, tinkering. Exceed orbit cannons. They fire alongside you while you fire regular weapons. I've seen people use that. I like that. I can't wait to get a medium weight core that uh, has one of those. That sounds fun. Cuz it's not like I ever really use overboost. Now roading. I don't understand why they point you in. I'm not... Oh, you suck. Oh. And then he hits me once, and that kills me forever? I don't know. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is going poorly for me suddenly. There we go. There we go. Does New Game Plus have uh, increased difficulty, or is it just the same stuff over and over again? I'm interested, actually. Shadow Age. Edgelord. Dark Demon 69. 420. A close-range combatant who... Combatant who disregards all damage inflicted on his AC as he blind rushes the enemy. More often than not, his opponents falter just long enough that their fate is sealed then and there. The way they wrote that's really weird. Most pilots go out of their way to avoid grinder. 
So he's got he's got a fucking cool looking pile bunker, a bunch of rockets, and a shield. That's actually really cool. Uh oh. I hope that's not an issue on my end, dude. I've been having um, uh, up speed issues. I've been having a lot of up speed issues, actually. But he's got really high defense and AP. So basically, he's designed to tank hits and just blast his way up to you. So we'll go somewhere where I can stay out. Well, yeah, that's what I consider New Game Plus is just when they unlock all the missions. Are right, you going to try and come and touch my goodies? Try as you might. Look at him, he's really trying to get in there. I wonder if that pile bunker is, like, really good. It's probably really good. You know, you had your opportunity to punch me there, bro. You're not, you're not taking it. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to do. You went for the punch. Did you see that? You went for one punch. Man. Alright, time to kill Bad Brian. Yes, I know it says Bad Brain. I'm a... I'm an idiot. <laughs> Prefers using weapons like flamethrowers and napalm to ravage an opponent's AC. One of his favorite ploys is to lull unsuspecting pilots into believing he's made a fatal error, only to realize too late that they've been set up. So he's got... Missiles and flamethrowers. Shit, whoops. Is that a flamethrower on his arm? It doesn't look like a flamethrower. He's got a ton of ammo, so jeez. Look at that. That's gotta be the, the right arm flamethrower. It's been a while since I've seen it, but... That's a weird looking uh, emblem, too. What's up? Is it any better for you, Thunder? Hopefully it is. About to go to the parking lot. To blow up flamethrower, man. Man, I probably shouldn't have gone in a close range inside area to fight this guy. That was probably incredibly stupid of me. Oh man, he's uh Wait, is that a is that a laser? It is a laser. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Actually this he's not making it hard. Hard at all, dude. Put on a show. Come on. Come on. Good. I'm glad. I'm really. With the way today's stream has gone, I'm like horribly worried that there are problems on my end that will affect how this video turns out uh, for streaming and for archiving. Hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully, it's alright. Hopefully. Alright, 2300,000, excuse me, credits acquired. Making some money now. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought his name said Refrigerator out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, yo, we go fight to Fridge! Milky Way, striking good looks and phenomenal combat skill have earned her a fan base rivaling that of any other arena pilot. She values their encouragement and repays them with memorable performances every time she steps to the arena. Aw, she sounds like she's pretty, and she's got a pretty pink AC. That's the color scheme for uh, uh, Viege from, uh, which I probably butchered that French pronunciation, um, from Xenogears, which um, very soon I'm going to record all of that fucking LP and then release them all over time because I want to beat that game and I want to put it up on YouTube for other people to see that game. The parking lot is good for ACs that use missiles because the missiles will miss most of the time. Yeah, that makes sense. Just boosting sideways past those poles will do that from the looks of it. Let's fight her in the arena. Hey, I respect you too because you're a girl. I, I don't know. 
Is that misogynist? <laughs> probably is. I'm probably a terrific asshole. Uh, she's actually avoided my shots there. Or am I doing that airborne stuff? Her little bunny hops there are actually causing me problems too in terms of uh nice pistol. Uh no, but I've watched uh, the, uh, the Wooly vs. Reboot LP on the, uh, the Two Best Friends Play channel, The Switcher. Wow. That LP is art. That LP is like 20, 20 episodes of him having a fucking mental breakdown slowly, and then getting pissed off at his friends and forcing them to play the game for five episodes, and then cheating his way to the end of the game. It's hilarious. All right. Trafalgar. Actually, I want to see if I got some mail. Of course I got mail. Because I went up into C rank. Crank. Advancement reward. What you got for me? Congrats on your new rank. We hope you will continue to perform as you have been. In recognition of your advancement, we are awarding you with the right arm part. Please check the garage. Cool. Let's take a look and see what weapon they gave me. Watch it be something super bad. Nope, it's a giant. Actually, that thing is probably fucking amazing. <laughs> you know what? Let's fuck around a bit, shall we? <laughs> Let's see if I can take out the next guy with 12 shots, and that's it. <laughs> You know, our fucking Baconator bot actually kind of looks like a Gundam. Let's see. Watch I suddenly fall in love with this giant murder gun. Especially if this guy's slow. Oh, this guy's slow. He's going to get fucking owned. He joined the arena with a single purpose. Locate the raven who betrayed him and meet out his own brand of justice. The plan was set in motion shortly after learning that his quarry retreated to the sanctuary of the arena, complete with a new identita. So he's got a shotgun, he's got, I think that's a, a fucking howitzer, and he's got a rocket launcher. Probably a good, probably a good setup. Let's do, let's do the arena again, why not? On a big open space to shoot my grenade launcher rounds at this guy. So I now basically turned myself into a big, fast-moving artillery cannon. Ooh, there's a hit. Didn't do much to him, though. Oh, this is going poorly for me. Because this guy's just fucking hopping around. Fuck you, dude. There's a hit. I mean, it's not gonna matter for me in a little bit here. Shit. And I'm out of ammo. Great. I'm gonna lose this one. Fuck it. You never grow unless you... Kill me. Just kill me, you fucking asshole. <clears throat> Wooly's doing, uh... No, I'm not gonna retry. I'm gonna switch to my old shit. Wooly's doing, uh... Blah, 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 blah. He's doing... Naruto... For probably the foreseeable future. Alright, sell that fucking piece of shit arm. Thanks for the cash, I guess. I have two of those? No way. Did I buy one? Maybe I did. All right, so at this point, I've got just under 400 weight I can putz around with. Is there any new arm parts? The fact that there's ammo for a fucking pile bunker is kind of annoying. I would not want to equip that. <laughs> fucking Boruto. There's that piece of shit they gave me. 
I would rather use this shitty handheld rocket launcher than that shitty grenade launcher. Energy shotgun. Yeah, no new parts here. Nothing I haven't seen before. There's the machine gun with all the ammo in the world. Reload time four, reload time three. So that one is the fastest fire. Which is one of the reasons I thought I might be interested in it. Enhanced attack solid shell rifle. Nice sniper rifle. No, you're you're right about the pile bunker. I just think that it should be like you could have an energy based pile bunker, you know? Have one that operates off of a... Oh, that's funny. So I never noticed that. The machine gun names, it has the amount of ammo that's equipped with the machine guns there. That's kind of cool, actually. What do we got? We still got, like, howitzers and shit. Yeah, nothing new here. Should we kind of be interested in equipping something like that at some point? Right now, no, but later on, yeah. All right. Mid-size vertical. Launches two missiles per lock-on. Multiple warhead missile launcher. Launches low trajectory missiles. Explosives. Launches two missiles. So far, they don't have anything that launches like four at once. Like that really nice uh, piece. Unless this one launches. Multi warhead one. Ammo price one thousand fifty per shot. That's nice that they include the price there. Titan. Let's see. Eighteen large rockets. That's cool. Does that thing cost a hundred thousand? Wow, it does. All right, rapid fire shoulder mounted machine gun, grenade launcher. That's the thing the other guy was fucking me up with. High power plasma cannon. A remix of that cool looking plasma cannon from 2. So that's what we got. Independent weapon pods. Is this thing worth it? The, the independent weapon pod thing? Large rockets will fuck up any of the boss fights in this game. Fuck yeah. I might equip some of that on the uh, on the the mission mode mech. Just have like a nice little laser rifle for regular fights, and then just like the big like 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 family destroyer on the shoulder. <laughs> Killing this entire arena with large rockets. No kidding. That's cool. All right, I think we're good as is for now. Let's go back and refight that guy that fucked us up when we tried to be cool. Abandoned factory. Yeah, the manual aim kind of sucks, but I mean, for large bosses, that's totally kind of a, not a moot point, but it's easy enough to deal with. All right, let's see if me chilling here can't get you caught up on the Looks like you're caught. Yep. Your AI is stupid. You're stupid for being AI. Okay, you keep jumping. I will whittle you down, sir. My cannon shall outlast you, sir. Even if you're right in my face with a shotgun. Did he shoot energy out of me? I don't remember actually using all of my energy charge. Not so tough when facing down a machine gun, are you, asshole? <laughs> that was pretty fun. No replay. Replays are for people who don't know how to fish. Actually, I should have played that replay. BRB bio. Yeah, I'll do another one and then put up the replay and run. 
<coughs> that way you're not stuck staring at nothing. Hostile. Short-tempered and headstrong. You look like a dick, bro. A red and gold-plated dick. Actually, that's a cool leg piece, I think. I think it looks cool. Uh, Short-tempered and headstrong, Hostile rushes into battle with weapons blazing in the hopes of claiming quick, decisive victories. This lack of restraint carries over to all aspects of his life, and he is usually trying to escape one predicament after another. Everyone I know is pregnant. I don't know what to do about it. Is he entirely missile-based? Yeah, he is. Ooh. Uh... Fuck it. I probably should have gone to the parking lot, huh? Oh well. If I lose, it's my fault. You're so fast, bro. Did those missiles? Yeah, those are missiles he has equipped. Those are uh, those are slightly terrifying. Where are you going, idiot? Can I get you to blow out of the arena? Yeah, I can. Those are rockets. Not missiles. Where are you at? Oh, you're almost dead anyways. Playing Armored Core Silent Line after this game. You know, Thunder, I was thinking about going through the games chronologically. I was thinking about just doing all the PS2 ones. Except Silent... Or Armored Core 2, Another Age. That was a piece of shit. Damn it! I fucked up my thing again. It's gonna put it on replay. Ugh! I'm so stupid. Okay, Trooper. Utilizing his AC's mobility to great effect, he runs rings around opponents, patiently waiting for an opportunity to strike. He worries constantly about the well-being of his daughter, who ran away hoping to become a mercenary herself. I don't understand what that has to do with his fight. Unless I can, like, get on the mic and be like, Yo, your daughter's in trouble, bro. You should think about that instead of what I'm doing to you. Which is, which is fucked up. But it has no bearing on me. Eh. I'm just being a complainer, I guess. How dare I? Alright, let's do this. with whatever that is. Man, I love this fucking sideways fire control system. It's like the only thing you actually need to equip. Especially if you're doing like, like land strafing like this in a damn, in an arena setting. All right. I'm taking my union stated 15 minutes. <laughs> Be right back. What I miss, what I miss, miss, miss. Well, luckily, I'm not playing these with discs. So I may not have that issue. Or I will. Who knows? 30,000 credits. I've got Street Enemy is a fucking awesome name. Uh, what is this guy? What is this guy's deal? 
Discontent with his impoverished upbringing, this pilot immersed himself in the criminal underworld, eventually rising to a position of wealth. He accepts missions based solely on their monetary value, and greed rules his every waking hour. Oh, so he's just some asshole. Rocket. The ion launcher that I like. And a decent rifle. Okay. But that's not what I want to do right now. I want to trick out the Baconator. So let's see. What's our legs? Point right now. 5,000. Okay. Let's check out some quad legs. Hey, the quad legs... Um, uh, you can fire shoulder-mounted weapons while moving with the quad legs, right? Is that quad legs or just the hover parts? So that's a actually genuinely important thing to know before starting here. Alright, so there's 479, 51, 425, 50, 437. If we go down to hover bits, we've got 54, 330, 48 with 615, 44, 520, 52 with 532. So there's a reason that everybody seems to be using that fucking thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to buy a couple different bits. Is that a hover bit? No, that's not. These are, though. 54. And then that leg. And that leg. Without OP intensify, quad legs and tank legs are the only legs stable enough to fire back weapons while moving. Perfect. Let's fuck around with a quad leg. We need to equip a better radiator as well. That's a good one. Back unit. I want to equip, or I want to grab that laser cannon there. Maybe that. Not enough cre Oh, wow, I've gone through all my credits here. 25... Oh, I thought that said 275,000. Spend all that money on them legs. Oh, well, at least you can sell them for what you bought them for. Okay, so the energy drain is worth, and so is the AP... But the weight goes up slightly. And the moving ability goes way up. 322 versus 425. So 51, or 50, 54, 52. Respectable defense ratings and mobile. Hmm. Let's see. This one's a no-go, even with the decent movement. Let's try this. Oh, nope. We want that there. <laughs> I'm just underweight with that launcher. Oh. For some reason, I was thinking I had two suddenly. That thing doesn't weigh anything. That's actually really cool. All right. Our Baconator looks a little bit different than it did the last time we Baconator. I don't know. Shut up. Okay, we want to equip that, which means we can take that off. Okay, so we're running pure energy weapons on a quadruped build now. And I've got just enough weight to equip something. What kind of something? Do the extra weight bits, do these add... Do these add regular ammo or energy ammo? They probably don't add energy ammo, huh? That would be too 
That would be nice. Let's see, what extensions? A new energy recovery. We looked through all of these, so I'm not too worried about those. All right. Let's go through AC test. I just want to see how this thing moves. I don't even care about trying to win the test since we did that already. Took the legs and fucking sold them. Oh, that thing moves fast. Wow. Holy shit. Why would I ever use anything other than these? Yeah, I definitely went through energy really fast. Let's get that thing out of the red zone here. The turning speed is unbelievable. I am fucking hard right now, you guys. Wow. Why would I ever use anything else? What is this? Damn it. Things are insane. Who gives a shit about energy drain? Look at this fucking regular movement speed. Holy shit. Wow. It's like it's my birthday. <laughs> Overall evaluation D, even though I did better than, is it based off of the record I had there? I still did better, look at that. 91%, 40. Okay, this thing, these legs are nuts. I am in love. I am in fucking love. Like, to the point that I I don't give a shit about any, like, those other, or testing out the hover bits. Like, fuck that. I'm selling these back. They weren't even that expensive, to be honest. So we've got those legs for arena, and these legs for, uh, not arena. I could probably equip a lightweight, uh, core on that. And that would give me more weight for other stuff. I mean, I'm building a much lighter weight AC in general, but... So, let's see. Let's look into cores. What do we got in terms of lightweight? We've got an overboost, and we've got an EO one, which I wanted to check... Burp! I wanted to check out, but that is the most lightweight thing here. Fuck it. We can try it. That clears up quite a bit, actually. That leaves us with 380 weight to play around with. I'm interested in seeing the specs of this thing. It's considered good, so it's not considered as good as this thing, which is considered great. AP 8665, AP 7825, so almost a thousand less AP. Found this game by doing a certain mission without a consort. If you want, I'll tell you when you reach that particular mission. Absolutely. I plan not to use many consorts in this one anyways. I'm interested to see how this thing plays. Here we go. Eliminate intruders. Okay. Raven, we need your help to carry out a classified oh, mission in sector Give us consorts eight. for this one. Many portions of this area were damaged in a series of earthquakes a few years back. Uh oh It has been deserted since, and access is strictly prohibited, even now. However, someone seems to be ignoring this fact, as there are signs of activity everywhere. Uh-oh. We don't know what might be going on. Look at don't. Don't. We don't know what might be going on. The intruders Good are job, guys. 
over there as quickly as possible and make sure none of them leave. Okay. You're being permitted access to the area for this mission only. Good luck. Okay. Set mission, commence mission. I hope I have the right AC equipped right now. If I run out there with uh, Frosty, I'll be sad. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Oop. Let's put the heavier one for a lot of these guys. It's kind of a cool looking level. This is not the way to go. The sector looks untouched. I don't get it. What's happening? There's a plot thing happening. That shoulder mounted one fires so much faster than the rifle, dude. I forget what my. There we go. Did I equip that radiator I bought? Probably not, huh? AC crossback identified. Uh oh. I have to fight an AC. With my non-AC fight. Jeez, you run fast! Look at that! I feel like I've walked into some sort of trap. Probably walked into some kind of trap here. So here's an open area where I can fight him, but I don't think that's going to be good for me here. No, I think I fucked up and didn't equip the good radiator. Who are you and what are you doing? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Man, that tiny little... Uh-oh. There's a problem. Got a problem, I've only got energy weapons. I'm a walking anger tank built with the sole purpose of destroying MTs. Although, being able to go around in and out of these corners is uh, kind of making this easy, to be honest. You're not, uh, not making this too hard, buddy. You know what? I like this light, little lightweight quadru quadruped AC. So what was the deal with that? Quad and tank leg ACs have a faster blading animation than other leg types. No kidding. That's cool. You seem to be fairly knowledgeable, Thunder, so I'm going to ask you the question. Why are bipedal legs in this game even? Because <laughs> they don't seem to be good for anything at all. They genuinely don't. Okay, let's let's see. Okay. Let's see what Crest has to say first. The decision to seal off was that of the controller. We must follow orders. The rules governing Laird are set in place for a reason. They maintain the delicate balance of our existence. Any sort of reckless activity has the potential to cause irreparable harm. We must rely on the controller if there is to be any hope for those living here. Please keep this in mind. This is the only refuge we have. No harm must come to it. So you know the truth, the sector was in fact closed due to damage sustained in an earthquake. Until the next time, Raven. Alright, reason for closure. Whatever happened in that sector, I don't think it was because of earthquake damage. Oh, okay. According to everything I've been able to uncover, those who breached the sector were members of the underground organization Union. This is the group thought to be behind a number of recent uprisings. 
They're considered a threat to Layered because many of their ideas conflict with those enforced by the controller. Exactly what they are trying to achieve, though, remains unknown. Now that I think about it, there have been a there have been an unusual number of sector closures during recent years. Could union activities have something to do with this? What is going on in Layered? Okay, yeah, I've noticed with biped legs, I have a lot better time basically staying airborne compared to other legs, but it's still, like, in terms of general movement, you're not spending as much time in the air as you are on the ground in these games. At least I don't think you are. Or the way I've been playing hasn't been. I need to check garage. There we go. Assembly. I want to make sure I have the good radiator equipped that I just bought. I do not. I I do have the good radiator equipped, so these things just drain like crazy in general. Wow. Okay. You know what? That's a trade-off I think we'll be we'll be able to live with. I mean probably not, honestly, but you know. Alright. I have a feeling we're starting to slowly get towards that uh, difficulty wall here, so I'm going to start saving more often. Arby's! Okay. Let's go to the shop. I want that machine gun just to have. Because this thing, if I if I if I screw up and run out of, uh, if I screw up and and run out of energy, I'm defenseless. It's probably why it's not rated as high. Okay, that puts me over by 200. Where's those extensions? Those are 300. I can get rid of those. There we go. I can probably find something under that weight limit too. Performance is still just good with that. Okay. Seemed to be better with the, the big chest piece, honestly, but... Oh, well. System, arena, mail. I'm sure I'll get to the point where I'll have enough money that I won't even worry about what's uh, how much money I spend on ammunition and the missions. So is that 15-round grenade launcher. Got it. Grand mining facility. Defend the personnel convoy. Not paying us any money. On account of your so work, fuck y'all. Control of the Grand Mining Facility has been secured. Gizaragi is incensed by this and has put forth a concerted effort to interfere with our operations. They know the mine's layout better than our people, people. and as it stands, we are hard pressed to halt their disruptive. Activity. Okay, I'll go kill everyone again. Plans are underway for a structural refurbishing of the mine, which necessitates the removal of all personnel. We believe Kisaragi intends to attack the convoy, escorting workers out of the mine. It's kind of shitty of them, eh? We'd like you to watch over the convoy. You'll be compensated depending on the number of units that make it out safely. Please see that they do. That's kind of that's kind of a neat thing. I still can't get over the fact that at one point we did speed. <laughs> With ACs. Oh god, there's already shit. Shots. They damaged the main gate. We can't use it. We'll evacuate from the south. Cover us. Man, I'm not uh, not doing too hot with these scraping mofos. Oh my god, this is uh. I might save scum the shit out of this one. This is, uh, not doing nearly as well as I want it to. They keep dying. It's my fault. Their blood is on my hands. Okay, chain gun time. Fuck this. Okay, the chain gun kills them instantly. What the shit? Like, 
God damn it. The difference is ridiculous going from energy to solid shell weapons. So I lost two guys because I wanted to save money. Oops. Okay, these guys seem to be doing all right now. destroy all of you with my six shoulder mounted chain gun. You're right, this thing is good as hell. It does a ton of damage compared to the uh, the hand mounted uh, machine gun, doesn't it? Maybe I'll get rid of that back laser weapon and just equip another one of these. Take care of you before you even get in the room. Yeah, y'all ain't shit. Oh, he got a shot off. How good... Good for you, bastard. Woohoo! Oh, I can't use that in the air, can I? Nope, can't. Gotta be on the ground. Interesting. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo for this. I have to go back to the way it was before. They really throw a bunch of those things at you right in the beginning of the mission, though. There goes that. It's back to this thing. Here we go. Like, I like the idea of having the energy weapons. They just fire so much slower compared to the, the machine guns. And I mean, their, their, their rate of travel is slower, not, the, uh, not their actual rate of fire. I know I'm basically firing the difference between like a, like a, a cannon and a, and a heavy machine gun. He doesn't even want to come out. Okay. Just gonna hang out back there forever. What is this? Who put you up to this? This makes it easier on me. This is not going terrible. Uh oh. Is that it? Okay, that wasn't terrible. I mean, it started off fucking bad, but... Incoming transmission. How are we looking? Everything looks like it's going good. Barrage has an urgent request. Uh-oh. An urgent request. They want you to move to the central terminal. Oh, am I going to have to fight somebody to now? Whether or not to accept. Where is the central terminal? Head to the escape point if you want in. Also, the way to obtain the Karasawa in this game is by getting your reputa reputation with Crest as high as possible until you get a mission called Destroy Gun Emplacements. And you have to destroy five gun batteries in under a minute to get them. First playthrough without researching it. Interesting. Good to know. Alright, so where do they want me to go? They want me to go to the escape point. I don't get it. Do I go to the escape point to go to the central terminal, or do I go... It's not this. How did I... Oh, I didn't get there fast enough. Son of a bitch. You know what? We're redoing this. We're, we're goddamn redoing this mission. So that did not sit good with me. I took a ton of damage. That's actually kind of ridiculous. Alright. We're going to load Smug Wendy here. I can't wait to get a more powerful um, hand-mounted energy weapon. Or right-hand energy weapon. Garage, shop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo that. I'm going the wrong doggone way. Let's get up, there it is. 
All right. Let's reassemble this some bitch. Get rid of that. That will allow me to equip both of those without having to take off the extensions. Because I actually want those for the missiles that those guys are launching at me. They're doing a fair amount of damage. <clears throat> and I'm already way too heavily... Uh, words to begin with. Alright, let's save and let's redo that mission. I'm going to use the machine gun first and go nuts with that fucking thing and then switch over to the energy stuff later. This will probably be the last mission I do, by the way, guys. I've been streaming for quite some time. It is time for me to go do other things. My daughter is actually upstairs taking a nap. Uh, she's home because it's, you know, Memorial Day. On account of you, uh, they know the mine's plans are under, we'd like and she's been asleep for like two hours, which granted she needs it after the weekend we had, but yeah. Pretty good. This is going better already. Who knows, they might all get out. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, that went swimmingly. Perfect. We didn't lose two dudes right at the beginning this time. I feel slightly better about what's happened to these people. Or not happened, I guess. down. That one did some pretty good strafing to get away from my stuff. Wasted way too much energy. There's already one out. What? No. No bad. I really gotta like post up over here. I want to take a moment to appreciate how poor this music is. Okay, he shot one of them. It's not the end of the world. It's not good. I'm assuming the second part of this mission is some sort of ridiculous fight. No, that one's down. It was going a lot better than the last time. Good. No annoying strafing to... There we go. It's all right. This one's turning out all right. We're feeling better. Feeling real good about this one, you guys. That one's down. Come on up, buddy. I wonder what the next part of the mission is. I'm actually interested to see it. All right, it's going well. This is going much better. I feel better now that I know what to expect in my spider zord. Yeah. aren't doing too well. Like, you're not, you're just kind of coming out and then kind of looking around. Not really too concerned with what's going on. 
Like, I feel like whoever hired you should feel bad. Look at, I mean, look at that. Blame it on bad AI, I guess. That's all done. Transmission. Let's do the thing. Mirage has an urgent request. Uh oh. They want you to move to the central terminal. Move to the central terminal. It's up to you whether or not to accept. I'm interested to see what's coming next. So what do I do? Head to the escape point if you want in. Oh, I just gotta head over that way. Okay. Request accepted. Moving to the central terminal. Cool, let's do it. This music sounds like badly electronified bad J pop. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Okay, what's next? That was a fast load, actually. We have to locate the AC. He has the chipset. He has the chipset. What does that mean? There's a chipset I apparently have to deal with here. And they're telling me to not pay attention. Oh, they completely refilled my ammo for this. Interesting. Okay, let's switch to the machine gun for a bit here. What do we got? This is cool. I don't know exactly what's going on here. There are a few missions in this game you have to make specific builds for. I'm intimidated. You're intimidating me. I'm on my own. Dude's name is Chain Impact. That's kind of awesome. Come on, get me in there. Shit! Like, I knew that was gonna happen, I just, you know. Fuck this. You do what you want. Oh god, he's actually fucking destroying me. Wait, that was it? You were, you were the best they could get. Wow. Oh, yeah, I know. I built a weak AC. I know. I'm an idiot. At least I made a ton of money. That's good. That's actually... Wow, this cable is all messed up. Let's look at that. All right, so all the guys got out. Everybody got out, so I made all my money there. And then they actually gave me money for going on to the second thing. So that worked out. Actually made some money. Yeah, this AC will be a lot more viable once I get um, once I get a heavier uh, hand uh, energy weapon. Oh, Chain Impact is incredibly weak. Yeah, he was. Excellent work. As a token of our appreciation, we've added one of our newly completed products to the garage. It's a radiator icicle. That's fucking cool. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Mirage. This message is to notify you of a new addition to our product lineup. It's a leg part, something something edgelord. We provided this, we provide this only to those who have gone out of their way to support us. Please check the shop. Mirage is consistently working to improve our products. Through aggressive investment in new technologies, our company boasts some of the best AC parts in all of Layer. Equipping inadequate parts when heading into battle will leave you at a disadvantage. It's always better to stay on top of new developments and thereby gain the upper hand. That's understandable. All right, we'll take a look at the uh, the new the new parts, dear, and then uh, yeah, no. Then from there, we will be ending the stream. All right, so it looks like it's a it's a bipedal leg part. 
that looks fucking cool as fuck. That thing is really low weight, though. That's a good... That's probably a really good leg for uh, flying missile builds. Okay. That's cool. Long-range mid-load capacity model. Its moving ability is great. Then again, all the light legs moving ability is really good. Alright, so there was that, and there was a really good radiator. But they gave me the radiator. It's not in the shop. Or was it in the shop? Did I just miss Icicle? That's generators. I'm an idiot. There's Icicle. Okay, it's force cooling is worse, but it's regular cooling is much better, and that's actually an incredible improvement. Awesome! That's fucking great! Gives me lots of extra weight to fuck around with different parts. That makes me happy. Time enough for another chain gun. Hmm. Mmm. 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 Nah. Alright, cool. So, uh, we've made some, uh, serious progress here. Let's go system. Save the game. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, guys, who came out and enjoyed the stream. I genuinely hope you did enjoy the stream. Um, I'm Jeff. And if you liked it, if you followed us, that would be awesome. Um, the stream will be archived over on our YouTube channel, uh, which there's a link to below your video here. Uh, we also have full Let's Plays that go up on the video, or go up on the YouTube channel, as well as other funny one-off videos. If you that, subscribe there as well, uh, you would be able to uh, see those videos as well and be notified when they come out. Uh, we also send out notifications on Twitter, and we have a Facebook page we never use, both of which have links below uh, the Twitch video there. So thanks a lot for coming out, you guys. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I will see you next time.